Hey guys, it's Jimmy here with Trailer Valet. And today I'm gonna show you how to better understand and properly use the XL unit. For starters, I'm gonna show you how to properly and safely use the drill attachment with our DeWalt drill. We recommend doing it this way to prevent any misuse of the product. So to properly secure your drill attachment, make sure you have the attachment lined up with the teeth of the chuck. So when installing your drill attachment onto the low gear shaft, place your finger on the bead and slide your drill attachment over the gear shaft. Before moving your trailer dolly, make sure you have your drill setting at one to begin at a slower speed. Do not start off with the higher speed setting, which would be two. Make sure you start on your lower speed setting. So before engaging your drill, you need to bring your brake handle all the way up, bringing the pins up. Once your pin is up, then you can slowly engage your drill As you get comfortable with the drill, you can slowly increase. Do not gun the drill, which will cause the drill to kick back on you. If you are lifting or dropping your brake handle at all, it will kick back on you. Keep in mind, I do not recommend using the drill on any type of steep incline or incline of any sort. You lose control and a stability of the unit when you are using the drill attachment. Much more control when using the crank handle. So while moving, make sure you have a secure grip on your brake handle. Again, if your brake handle tends to slip out of your hand and drop, your drill can tend to slip or kick back on you. When using your Trailer Valet XL, it is generally best to use it on a flat surface. So typically I recommend using it on speed one, but for you guys out there who are trying to move your trailer maybe a little bit farther, as you're moving your trailer, you can increase your speed to two and just keep in mind again to gradually increase the speed on your drill. So one question that um, I'm frequently getting asked about our unit is our brake handle will not drop anymore. It is stuck. So if it is stuck, it's because the bolt is hitting in between your lower gear shaft. So in turn, all you need to do is rotate the shaft. The bolt will find its way in and now you can drop the handle. So other things to uh, keep in mind, never, never use your uh, trailer dolly to pull your trailer up and incline. You never want to have your unit in front of the trailer going up an incline. The weight of the trailer is too much for the weight of the unit. Gravity is going to pull the trailer down the hill and it is, cause, and it is going to cause your tires on your XL unit to slide. So keep in mind when moving up an incline, always have the unit behind the trailer pushing it up the hill. Another issue that customers experience is the base getting a little loose on them. So you will need to use your spanner wrench and I'll show you guys later how to correctly tighten the base to the coupler. So always keep in mind when you're using our trailer dollies, if you're not actually moving the trailer, always make sure you guys are using a chalk to keep your trailer secure at all times. So if you guys are using the trailer dolly on any type of uh, uneven surface, grass or anything like that, I do recommend using the plywood. Now keep in mind, of course, if your grass is too wet or if you're trying to put this on gravel, if your tra trailer can be too heavy, this can still be an issue and the unit will tend to pull the board out from under it. Well, hope all of those tips were helpful for you guys. If uh, you guys liked my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to us. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, email us at support at trailervalet.com. 